Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my world, which is the House of Nightmares. Let's begin. <laughs> Alright you guys, on today's video, on today's video, we're gonna talk about a few little things here and there. So the first thing that I want to start off with is, yes, I know I've been a little bit MIA, it's been three weeks. I will explain that in a bit, but I'm here now, I'm back to my own routine of posting regularly. I am gonna try to post twice a week since I am gonna have a little bit more time to myself. But uh, before I begin with why I've been a little bit MIA, let me start off this video with I had posted a YouTube poll on the community section where I had asked you guys a fun question. Now, let me pull out this question really quick. All right, so the thing that I said was, here's a fun poll. Let's see how good you know me and my taste in horror movies. What is my number one horror movie that I only watch once a year? Halloween day to be exact. I've said it a million times votes <laughs> all right so there's 750 votes that's a lot of people voting a lot of people thought that child's play 2 was my number one uh favorite halloween movie to watch on halloween day 23 percent said trick or treats six percent said the texas chainsaw massacre and one percent was final destination so okay clearly all of these are movies that I really really like. I like all of these movies. And I think the reason why a lot of people say Child's Play 2 is because I always talk about Child's Play 2. I always say how much I like Child's Play 2. Unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. Child's Play 2 is my favorite Child's Play movie in all of the Chucky movies. Child's Play 2 is my number one favorite Chucky movie. But my number one favorite horror movie to watch on Halloween day, I only watch this movie once a year. That is Trick or Treats. I've said it so many times. So shout out to the 23% of people who got that right. You guys actually paying attention. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a future giveaway in the near future, and it's gonna be the winners are gonna be like this. It's gonna be like something like this. So I just had to get that out of my chest. I forgot to talk about this in my past videos. So it's Trick or Treat. Sorry, but I like Child's Play too. All right, so the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is I've been a little bit MIA because you guys, I've been so crazy busy. I don't think I've been this busy in my life that I barely even have time to sit down, relax, take a deep breath and make videos, fun videos for you guys like I've always done. So I've been super busy. Now, if you don't know, my brand, thehouseofnightmares.com is shutting down on June 4th. Fourth. Now it is a little bit bittersweet. It is sad uh, that my brand is shutting down But there's a big reason why actually a lot of reasons why it's shutting down one of those reasons is I did not decide to sign another year with Teespring even though I do like their products and I stand by their products They're very cozy and good quality um, There's just a lot of things that we're not seeing eye to eye me and Teespring and I've been trying to come out with beanie hats and regular hats and Unfortunately Teespring's giving me a really hard time with that so it's a lot to take in I don't want to say too much but I finally am going to have my own personal I guess you can say free agent type of website I'm gonna have my own website it's gonna be a lot more professional a lot more better I have a team a group of people behind this uh, project creating my website and it's gonna be out I don't want to say soon because it's not going to be soon like two three months from today but it's going to be out and it's going to be amazing and i have been working on a lot of designs I, i'm talking about a, a lot of designs you guys and not just designs a lot of merch yes of course we're gonna have t-shirts sweaters i'm working on the beanies i'm working on the hats and they're so incredible i've seen the photo uh, the prototypes if i can just show you right now i would freaking die but I don't want to spoil the surprise and I'm working on something big you guys I'm working on something that I've never thought I would ever create and it's 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 gonna happen I promise you I'm not gonna say too much but it's gonna happen and I'm so so ready for you guys to see this project I'm investing so much money so much time and so much money to create this merch for you guys and I really hope that when it comes out you guys support it by obviously making a purchase towards this project but just overall sharing it with the world because it's it's gonna be big it's gonna be big i think it's gonna be big and um i really can't wait and i wish i could show you what it is because like i said i've had uh, my prototypes but i can't 
say anything else. I cannot uh, spoil those prices and everything will be revealed within its time when the time is right so if you do want to get any of my merch you can go to the house of nightmares.com right now all the way until june 4th june 4th will be the last day and you can take a 20 percent off with code edgar o so boom there you have it bittersweet but it's all for a good cause and i can't wait for the new and improved in the near future <laughs> all right and one more thing i do have an official tiktok for the house of nightmares if you follow this tiktok it is going to be nothing but horror i would love for you guys to come and follow me here i haven't posted anything yet that's because we are working on great material um it's gonna be easier for me to post on tiktok than it is gonna be on youtube i'm still gonna be posting on youtube obviously but um I, i'm gonna use tiktok as a platform to make even more fun videos quick fun videos and showing you more stuff like this uh than just taking my time and recording editing filming just all of the good stuff i'll be able to do it on tiktok so if you guys can please follow me on tiktok at the underscore house of nightmares the only house of nightmares out there on tiktok so make sure you uh show your support and come follow the house of nightmares tiktok and just wait for the videos to start popping up it's gonna be fun so i would very much appreciate if you guys follow my tiktok at the underscore house of nightmares and um yeah let's start off with the video and of course as you can see from the thumbnail and the title of the video in today's video what i'm gonna do is i want to rate the chucky movies everything chucky that we have uh, gotten through the year since 1988 the movies the tv show and even the remake so what i'm gonna do is i want to talk a little bit about the movie and then rate it or i should say i'm gonna rate it and tell you why i give it that rating now i do have a video where i said i'm gonna rate the chucky movies from worst to best that's not gonna be this case. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the movie. I can't even talk. I'm gonna pick the movie and I'm gonna rate it from one to ten. So one being the worst and ten being the best. And at the end of the video, I want you guys to tell me if you have the same type of rate, rating that I do because yikes, I have my ratings right here in my paper. And I don't know, maybe I'm gonna piss some people off, but it's okay that's what i want to do with you guys today so go grab yourself a little snack and join me all right and starting off with obviously the cult classic the one that started it all everybody's favorite chucky movie and everybody's nightmare began in 1988 and, and this is obviously one of the greatest chucky films out there obviously it's the original one it's the first one that ever cre that was ever created child's play is one of my favorite horror movies out there overall not just in the chucky genre but overall it is one of my favorite horror movies out there i think the storyline is really well written and it's very well executed it has a good character development we get to meet andy and his mom the the cop and it's just a overall great movie i personally enjoy watching this movie it's like watching it i i can watch this movie so many times and not really get bored of it and it feels like i just watched it for the first time it's a really really good movie so from one to ten one being the worst movie out there and ten being the best i'm gonna rate this movie nine stars it's definitely a great horror movie and it's a good horror movie that's gone on for generations that's a classic all right, and moving on to Child's Play 2, released in 1990. So obviously, it's no secret that Child's Play 2 is one of my favorite horror movies. If In fact, it's probably my number one favorite horror movie out there. Um, I just really like the storyline for Child's Play 2. I really like the chemistry of Andy in this movie. I think um, his character in this movie is a lot better played. I think character development in this movie is a little bit more elevated. We get to meet new characters, uh, characters that we actually fell in love with. Kyle. This one also has some really, really great kills that I can appreciate. One of those favorite kills is when Chucky kills that guy behind the wheel and he suffocates him. Such a great kill. I like it. And when he even kills Tommy, the, the other Tommy head, the Tommy doll, the Tommy doll. Sounds like I said Tommy, the Tommy doll. It's a great movie. So from one to 10, it's no secret that I'm going to rate this movie 10 stars. How can you not fall in love with this movie and how can this movie not be in your top list of favorite horror movies ever and that factory scene iconic i love it all right and moving on to the next one which was released a year later is child's play 3 released in 1991 you know this is one of those movies where you either love it or you hate it there's really nothing in between and for me i hate it 
Not gonna lie, it's not one of my favorite ones. So on a, on a scale of one, to, yeah, I'm gonna get to the straight, straight to the point. On a scale, of, on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give this movie five stars. I don't know, you guys. I just the whole army stuff. Just, I feel like this movie was just rushed, and it just wasn't very well executed. I mean, come on, it took seven years to make the next one, which is Bride of Chucky, released in 1998. I feel like this is a staple for Chucky. I think this is this movie kind of resuscitated Chucky back, or re resuscitated, yeah. <laughs> Resurrected Chucky back, literally, from the Child's Play franchise. Obviously, in Bride of Chucky, we got introduced to Tiffany, another iconic character that has gone down history as one of the iconic female dolls. I mean, it's just a, a, a sick, crazy doll, and we all love Tiffany. We all love this character. It's no secret that a lot of us do enjoy watching Bride of Chucky. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna give this movie 10 stars. And in 2004, it's when the bandwagon went down the hill and that is Seed of Chucky. Yikes. If you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that I really just don't like Seed of Chucky. I dislike Seed of Chucky because it's just not a very well executed movie. I feel like they try to be too, it's definitely a comedy more than a horror movie, but I've always said it feels like you're watching a spoof of the Chucky movies and I see what they were trying to do, but unfortunately in my book, it just didn't work. The kills were definitely over the top. They tried to introduce us to a new character, Glenn, and another new character, Glenda, and at that time it seemed a little, mm, I don't know. But now, in 2022, I can say that I do appreciate Glenn just a little bit more than I did back then. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna give this movie 3 stars. And yes, um, that's my final answer. <laughs> And then nine years later, whoa, nine years later, it took nine years to make another Chucky movie. In 2013, we got The Curse of Chucky. Curse of Chucky is really what made it for me. I think after waiting for so many years, when they, when I heard that they were going to make another Chucky movie, I thought, wow, this is it. They better go in, go hard, or go home. And I thought that this movie was going to be released in theaters, and it should have been released in theaters, but unfortunately, it wasn't. And that's, honestly, that's totally okay. The simple storyline, the simple kills, I mean, some of the kills were a little bit over the top, not too much, but I really did enjoy this movie. To be honest with you, I really did like Curse of Chucky. I like kills, the storyline, and we got introduced uh, yet again to another new character by the name of Nika, which we all love. And yeah, I'm gonna rate this movie from one to 10, eight stars. Even though Curse of Chucky has some questionable moments, I feel like it had more enjoyable moments than anything. It's a good movie. And in 2017, we got Cult of Chucky. And this for me was a bit of a confusing movie. I know a lot of people are like, oh, didn't you pay attention to the movies? Don't you watch the movies? You're like Chucky's biggest fan. And don't you watch the movies? Don't you understand? And it's like, look, listen, hold on. Pause. Stop. <laughs> Red light. I said I like the Chucky movies. I am a Chucky collector. I don't really dig myself into the Chucky movies and watch the Chucky movies over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again, okay? So stop coming for me. But what I'm saying, like, Cult of Chucky was just something completely different that I just didn't understand because it seemed like they just forgot everything about what we learned in Child's Play 1. I don't know how many times I gotta say this. Don't come for me, but it's just what I'm saying. It's just, I don't know. Cult of Chucky is okay, I guess. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to rate this movie 6 stars. Still not a bad rating. It's not a bad movie, but it's definitely not one of the best ones. Alright, and moving on to the next one. So the next one is the 2019 Child's Play remake that a lot of people were so against because a lot of people are diehard Don Mancini fans. And I get it, but at the same time as a diehard Chucky fan, I feel like Chucky does deserve the big screen treatments. And even though it's not the iconic Chucky that we know, I feel like it's okay. I don't know why so many people were so against it. It was just a remake. You know, a lot of people were against the Nightmare on Elm Street movie because they didn't use Robert as the original Freddy Krueger. And I think that's the whole point of a remake. You're not gonna make it exactly the same. Look, this is a whole different conversation that I do not want to get myself into right now, but uh, Child's Play 2019 Remake 
Personally, for me, I did enjoy it. I feel like it's a standalone movie, and it's a good movie for what it is. I'm gonna give this movie eight stars. All right, and moving on to 2021. Obviously, we have the Chucky TV series, the TV show that Don Messini gave us, and I feel like this is his redemption from everything he's created and i feel like he's going on a great path and this was a great tv show it's very enjoyable but i feel like it's missing something and i just i don't know what just yet but i had fun watching this show and i can't wait for season two so on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give this tv show eight stars and the only reason why i'm giving it eight stars and not nine or ten was because if i give it a nine or a ten that means it is the greatest tv show but i feel like some episodes were a bit draggy like it just dragged to get to the point like there's some scenes that okay we didn't really need this scene to be honest with you let's just cut it but they left it and there's just I think uh, one of the episodes kind of was boring for me, so I'm just gonna give it eight stars. And but it's still a great TV show. Don't get me wrong. Don't kill me. <laughs> I really like it. I really, really do like the TV show. But so yeah, that's just my rating. It's great. But right, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy my ratings. I hope you guys don't kill me, and I hope you guys uh, respect respectfully respect my rating i think we all have different types of ratings and i would love to hear what you guys think about my ratings i would like to know what you would rate the movies from the first child's play all the way to the tv shows let me know in the comments down below because it's always fun reading you guys' comments so make sure you let me know in the comments down below what you would rate it and if i was wrong dead wrong or if you agree respectfully all right you guys well i hope you guys enjoyed this video this video is going to be a little bit too long than what i expected but um yeah i hope you guys understand everything we talked in the beginning of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed the end of the video and if you did please give this video a huge thumbs up if you are new to my channel hi my name is edgar O, and i'm obsessed with um toys let's just say that so stick around click that subscribe button and be part of the house of nightmare club because i would love to have you here but all right you guys as always thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one bye